Okay. So, um, Clay, we provide, I think, the future of gesture recognition. Why? Because we are very focused on simple lens. This is a three-dimensional hand recognition with a simple lens for the first time. So, as my French is not very, very good, I'm going to show you um, a video clip. So, um, as you see, there is um, several use cases, but today we are very focused on AR, VR with, for example, smartphone. Um, the concept, we, we want to bring this technology, the gesture recognition and hand tracking for everybody. And the best way for us is to provide a SDK to developers for every uh, smartphone, because there is billion, billion smartphones um, in the world. And this is uh, that how we see tomorrow's gesture recognition. We want everybody can interact to, um, for IoT, for automotive, there is a lot of use case. But in VR, um, we are now focused on simplicity. We want to bring it uh, for every smartphone, every lens, and also this is our concept, mobility, universal, and smart. The technology, it's a very, very huge uh, stuff to do this because um, we have to provide an SDK which is something very, very simple to implement. If you want to, to have this, you have just um, a framework, like a library, and uh, very easy to implement in, um, in a project, in a replication. We have also, um, I think, a, a specific library with like Fist, like Swipe, etc. It's very important for us to, to provide something like is a, a grammar gesture. And also, um, we are agnostic because the Algorithm, uh, we can, it, it can work with 360, 3D camera, um, 2D camera. This is uh, the main goal, for instance. And we have to, to provide some things very, very, very fast because it's only four milliseconds um, between action and reaction. You know, the human perception is um, about eight minutes gone, so we have to, to, to slow down this. Uh, it's important for us. and. Why? Because there is only one signal. If you use some uh, motion or something like that, there is a lot of infrared, something like that. And our technology is very fast because it's very simple. There is only one signal. We have to, to make some uh, computing, a very hard computing, but it's very easy. And also the battery saving, only 9% uh, on an iPhone 7. It's available now for um, 60 byte uh, iOS and also Android in one or two months. So it's ready now. Um, we have several um, pilot, pilot with uh, in France uh, automotive like Renault. And we saw that there is um, an issue about the, the UX. 
UX. Because in gesture recognition, today there is nothing um, to compare. And it's very important to say that we provide something very simple, like a click, swipe, or something like that. We want to be very, very efficient. And also, this technology is not a uh, simple technology. This is very hard stuff. And my partner, Jean-Baptiste Guignard, uh, is a specialist of this uh, part of uh, science. He's a scientist in cognitive science and also PhD of Princeton. So this is uh, 10 years uh, technology as a result of 10, ten years uh, research in France. Also, we are based in Los Angeles uh, with all the sales team and uh, marketing team and PR. Our positioning, um, today we want something very light, no hardware, so we are on the top <laughs> of this because uh, the, um, the old company in this area provide um, hardware. You have to, to buy something very, it's very heavy, very hard to, uh, to install this. And we think that clay is uh, the, the, the best light uh, solution and you can touch easily uh, what you want in, in your replication. So this is uh, what in what we believe this touching is believing it's very important for us and for everybody in every kind of device also the vision i have um speak about um renault so automotive also game publisher as uh, you seen in the beginning there was a, a little game uh, it's very easy the, the children like this game because uh, it's very simple you, you you take an headset an helmet you put the smartphone and you you play it's plug and play for the first time so it's very important for us to be uh, efficient like that and also there is uh, some area like retail and um healthcare in retail, you can have um, some specific um, option when you put also the, um, the AR or something like that to choose a lot of, of device in, uh, in this area. And we can also deliver this technology for uh, OEM. It's possible uh, because it's cross-platform, uh, multi-device, uh, multi and it is in, in C sharp. So clay. Oh, <laughs> that was the slide. Okay. Uh, also, you can um, have some information in our website, claytheworld.com, and uh, there is a lot of uh, things to do uh, with this SDK. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Does anybody have any, any questions for Clay? Um, th does your solution take a lot of computing power, resulting in low graphic user experience on mobile device. So that's for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, no, no, it's, not, it's only 9% of the CPU. This is, uh, I don't know if the, the, the person is here, but for us it's, it's um, a very important question. Uh, we know that there is some, uh, some lay as a Unity, something like that, to, to create a game or an application. So we have to be very efficient and low consuming. Are there any other questions? Okay. okay. Oh, wait, he might have a question. Okay. Yeah. Because we, it's not only the, um, the uh, that 60 frames per second, and we um, download the image. This is not the, uh, we make something special, you know. It's not every every frame. We uh, anticipate the um, the movement with AI, and it's more fluent, more relevant for this. It's not only the um, the, um, the specificity of the camera, you know. Yes? Yes. Um, uh, we can uh, do the two hands, uh, indeed. And the angle is 110 uh, degrees. It's like a, a normal camera, but it's different with a fisheye or something like that. And um, it's up to 88 inches for the, the accuracy. 
Yes? Yes. Yes, yes. We distinguish all the finger, the fingers, yes. The, and if it's on like this position or this return, and if it's right or left. Thank you. Thank you very much.